Hello everyone. This talk is on job sequencing with deadlines. This problem is based on greedy design. Now what is job sequencing? You're given a set of jobs named as J1, J2, J3, so on to JN. The deadlines of these jobs are also given. They're named as D1, D2, D3, JN, respectively. The profits of these jobs are given, which are named as P1, P2, P3, so on, and PM. Given these jobs with their deadlines and profits, job sequencing talks about scheduling these jobs in such a way that at the end of completion of these jobs, the total profit of the scheduled jobs is maximized. It is a very popular optimization problem and it belongs to the maximization phase because the aim is to maximize the profit. While obtaining a schedule of those jobs, it may so happen that you are not able to schedule all of the jobs and hence you could also get a solution where the schedule will be a subset of jobs. The problem is based on graded design. Before we go on to solve a simple example of job sequencing, we will just look at certain common denotions, deadline and profit. What is deadline? The time slot within which a job is to be executed is termed as deadline. And profit is achieved for a job when it is executed within the deadline. There are certain assumptions based on which this problem is solved and the assumptions are as follows. The first assumption states that only one job can be executed at a time or in other words, there is no parallel tasking or more than one job cannot be executed in a particular time interval. The second assumption states that each job can take only one time slot to execute or in other words, every job cannot take more than one time slot to execute and finish its job. Consider that these are the set of jobs given to you. They're named as A, B, C, D, D, and their deadlines are also given. The respective profits are also given. Since the aim is to maximize the profit, the DD design adapts a strategy of job sequencing in which it orders these jobs according to the maximum profit. You can see the table displayed here. The jobs A, B, C, D, E have been ordered in the order of descending order of profit. So A is the job with the highest profit, then comes C with the next highest profit, D with the next profit, B19 and E15. So the first step towards building the solution is to arrange these jobs in the descending order of profit. So we have done that. The profits are ordered in the descending order of profit and with the respective deadlines given. In order to build a solution, you would be constructing a Gantt chart. What is a Gantt chart? It could be considered as a timeline chart, which shows the status of execution of the jobs, or you could also say that it shows the progress of execution of the jobs. In the Gantt chart, each slot depicts a time unit or a time slot. So zero to one could be considered as a first time slot, one to two as a second time slot, and two to three as a term third time slot. And in each time slot, you have to note that you can schedule only one job as per the assumption. So let's move on. The first job that will be picked up in order to the, add to the scheduling would be A. Its profit is 100 and its deadline is specified as two. Now when two is given as a deadline, we can schedule A in two options, either in the first time slot, which is zero to one, or in the second time slot, one to two. Please note that this is a Gantt chart with this as numbered as a time slot zero to one, second time slot, the third time. If job a, job a has to be scheduled within the deadline two, there are two options or two time slots in which it could be scheduled, either the first time slot or the second time slot. Now I would choose to schedule A in the second time slot since 
the deadline specified is two and there is no hurry to finish the job A by scheduling it in the first time slot. I can give up or reserve this slot for a forthcoming job whose deadline could be one and hence I schedule A in the second time slot. The next job that would be picked is job C with profit given as 27. Its deadline is also specified as two. So here again, we are left with two time slots for the job C to execute. But remember, the second time slot has already been occupied by A. And as far as the assumption goes, you cannot schedule more than one job in this time slot. And hence, we are left with only one option for C and that is a time slot one. We have to mandatorily schedule it in time slot one because C has to finish execution within the deadline two. So when A is finished executing, 100 is a profit. When C and A are done with execution, the generated profit is 100 plus 27. Now we move on to the next job in order of profit, which is D. Its time slot of the deadline is given as one. We cannot pick job D. Why? Because both the time slots here, or in other words, the first time slot where job D should have been scheduled is already occupied by C. The only option left with me is to reject this job. The profit remains the same. Now we move on to the next job B, and its deadline is also one. I cannot schedule job B because slot one is already occupied. So reject that job. The next job in order of profit is E. Its deadline is specified as three. We know that we have already scheduled job A in the second time slot, job C in the first time slot, and the deadline of E here is given as three. So there's one choice left for E, and that would be the last time slot, the third time slot, which is two to three, and hence we schedule E over here. So please note that I have taken three units in the GAN chart or three time slots in the GAN chart based on the given problem because in the given problem, the maximum deadline specified is three. In case there is an additional job with deadline as five, this GAN chart time slot could extend over to five time slots. At the end of the solution, when we have finished scheduling or picked up a subset of the jobs for scheduling, we have scheduled it in the order CAE with the total profit as total profit as 100 plus 27 plus 15 that sums up to 142 and the job sequence or the order in which the jobs are executed is C followed by A followed by Hence, the final solution of job sequencing with deadlines based on greedy design has two components. One is the optimal profit. We have been able to maximize the profit as 142 when the schedule of the jobs is B followed by A followed by E. Thank you.